All right, so this video is going to be how I train my Chow Chow puppies. So the first step is going to be um, Marco Wood. Hi guys, so when you um, when you get your dog or your new dog, the first thing you want to do is establish a Marco Wood. A Marco Wood is a way of telling your dog that they've won and you're going to pay them for it. Um, so what we do is the dog doesn't know the Marco Wood at the minute, so we just present the Marco Wood. Yes! We make a sound, it can be any sound I use. Yes! And then I present the dog with the food. Yes. So as you can see that time, I've only used it three times, the dog looked up at me. Yes. So every time I say the sound or make the noise, I feed the dog. Yes. Good. So as you see that time when I said it, she just came up towards me looking for my hand to find the food. Yes. That time I used the mark word to capture the sitting position because sit is going to be the next thing we're going to teach her yes again using the marker word to tell her that this sit position is the position i like so i'm going to reinforce it yes now i'm using cheese for this you can use anything meat raw meat cooked meat dog biscuits the only important thing is every time you say your marker word is that you feed every time yes and it doesn't have to be food. If your dog likes tug toys or balls or, or playing frisbee, you can use your marker word and then throw the ball or whatever. Yes. It's important that I use the word first before I go for the cheese. I don't want to go for the cheese and then say the word. Yes. The sound comes first and then followed by the reward. Okay, marker word. Okay, so we've got our marker word established now so the dog knows what um, my marker word means. So she's already in a sit, so yes, I'm gonna mark a word it and reinforce the sit. I'm gonna throw the cheese over there and hopefully she'll come out of that sit position. Here we go. Here we go, silly. So I lure the dog into the sit. Yes, when she does it, I mark a word and feed. Same again, change position, lure her into a sit. Yes, when she does it, I feed. I don't have to say the word though, notice, I'm only saying it for you guys. Yes, good. So it's just a hand signal at the minute which is guiding her into that step position. Yes, good. good. Bit of a tricky one there, but the idea is we're gonna bring the food away from the dog, then up and above her head. Yes, until she's got no choice but to put her bum to the floor. The second her bum touches the floor, we use the marker word and then we give the dog the food. We don't tell her until she's doing it reliably the name of the behavior. So we wouldn't say sit until the behavior is very reliable and we're getting it every time. Otherwise you'll end up having to retrain a sloppy sit where the dog's sat on one hip rather than Sat nice and square. Come on. Yes, good girl. Good girl. She's getting a bit spooked. Yes, good girl. And now you notice she's offering the sit. She's just randomly going into the sit position because we're, man we're reinforcing it and she's learned that this is the position to get cheese. Yes, good girl. So then I just used a little bit of patience, waited it out, and then she just came up to me and went straight into the sit position. Yes, good yeah, girl. Good. good. And then next session, we'll start to put that on cue and getting her to do it on command and take it from there. Good girl. If you're struggling to get your dog out of the sit position, you can throw a piece of cheese. See it? Yes, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Hello. Good girl. Yes, good. Good. So there, she's like going into the sit position almost straight away now. So if Imagine if she's meeting a stranger or meeting a kid, 
and she just goes into this sitting position rather than jumping up. Or... Yes. Good girl. Smashing, I learned five minutes, already doing it. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna train a dog um, how to go to bed, basically. All right, so my principle for bed training is: imagine the bed is an all expenses paid buffet, all the drinks are free, <laughs> top shelf. There's a DJ on, Paul Oakenfold's playing in the corner. Don Perignon as well. Don Perignon on tap, <laughs> right? And it's it's a free bar, it's a free party. You can have as much of anything as you want, right? This is the party. But the second the music and the power gets cut, the drinks stop, the DJ goes off, the dancers stop, the shutters come down. So that the bar closed, right? So if the behavior that I want is happening, the party starts. If the behavior I don't want stops happening, I shut the shutters and turn the power off, right? So open bar, close bar. Now the bed is the source of the party today. The cheese is the party, right? So right now, she's on the bed, so the bar is open, the drinks are free, the Dom Perignon's been poured, the music's rocking. She has had her breakfast this morning, so she's not hugely motivated by the cheese. Usually I'd like to do all my training before the dogs have had their breakfast or before their meal, or even better, use their meal as, as their training. Yes, good girl. So now she's got all four legs on. So my criteria is for her to be lying down eventually with obviously all four legs on the bed. Yes. Good girl. Yes. So right now she's had 10, 15 little pieces of cheese on the bed and I take the bed away. Give it a second, then put the bed back down. Yes, good. I had to show her a little bit of food there and give her a little bit of help. Yes, good girl. Good girl. And then if you need to, you can lure them back off the bed with the food. take the bed off them again. So the bed becomes the signal that she's gonna get food. So you can put this bed away, you can put it on top of a wardrobe or somewhere, and then when you bring it out, yes, good girl, good. And let her make her own decisions, let her think about things, let her get things wrong. You know, be patient with her, let her take her time. She's, she's how old is she? Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks.